I've never been out here before. There's really nothing like New England in the fall. And being able to do this on this river, like now is amazing. Today we are doing a bioassessment of the Ammanusik River in partnership with New Hampshire Fishing Game and Trout Unlimited. So this is a wonderful opportunity to bring our students together with some cooperating partners to give them a chance not only to build field skills in this setting, but also to do some networking with professionals in the environmental science field. really want to be right close, okay? okay? The first thing we did today was map out a hundred yard area in the river where we're going to do our surveys. Then we would go in and do electrofishing along that whole area. At the same time as that's happening, we have groups doing kick netting for macroinvertebrates so we can get an assessment of the water quality. They first had us collect invertebrate samples, which was really cool. I've never done that in any other class. And then from there, we brought it back, pulled them all together, and separated them into their different, their different classes. And we found that there were seven different species, all in different stages of their life. OK, so I have this little guy. Being in this river, being in the water, being submerged with other students, it's a classroom without having the desks and the whiteboards. Probably the most engaging part is electroshock fishing. So experts from Fish and Game and actually today some of our students got to wear these backpacks that put an electric charge into the water that stuns all of the fish within a certain radius. So I was kind of trained how to use the electric shocker by Andy. Well, it was almost like I was working with him in the field, even though it was my first time ever doing it. I learned a lot about the best things you can do to not injure the fish because we're ultimately trying to get this data to improve their life. This is important to New Hampshire Fish and Game and Trout Limited specifically because this spot especially, this is the first time they've surveyed in two years. We had naturally reproducing salmon, which they haven't seen and we have some leftover brook trout from stocking. So it bodes well for the future of this river. So an experience like this really provides an opportunity for students to take what they explore in theory in the classroom and apply it in a more practical way. There is something to be said for the benefits of just getting out and being able to talk to Fish and Game about what they're doing and really, co like really collect data. I like the challenge. I like coming out here and being right in the river. And I could definitely see myself doing this in the future, whereas if I never had the experience to try this out, I may not know what it's like. This type of survey gives us an opportunity to not only get the technical skills, but also meet some people that we might be employed by in the future. And it's just an amazing opportunity and such great face time, and it's, it really solidifies that this is what I want to do. So this is really important not just for the learning experience of the students, which is incredibly rich, but also the fact that we are providing a service for fish and game. Um, they need volunteers who have a certain skill set who can effectively conduct this bioassessment. I, d I did have a lot of fun today. It was good. It was a great. <laughs> I wasn't in. I wasn't at work. I wasn't sitting inside. I wasn't sitting in a classroom. I was out here doing what I really like.